Perhaps, Robin, you could begin by explaining exactly what EB is and what effect it actually has on the, on the person who has it. EB is a genetic skin blistering condition and people who have EB don't have the chemical that you and I have got called college seven, collagen 7. And if you need collagen 7 in its right format to make your skin stay attached to your flesh. So uh, EB has uh, three main forms. The worst is known as junctional. And unfortunately, children who get junctional die within the first six or eight months of life. The next and most distressing form is dystrophic. And then the mildest form is known as simplex. Uh, that's then broken down into 17 subgroups. And EB statistically affects one in 17,000 births. And both parents um, have to carry the same genetic condition that, uh, that produces the, the lack of collagen 7. So Virginia, Alex's mother and I, didn't know, but we both carry the same uh, genetic defect, so it's an inherited condition. First Minister, could you give me your comments please on the fact that out of the 44 Deborahs worldwide, Deborah boasts that it's the uh, the best country in the world in raising money per head of population and creating awareness for EB worldwide? Well, I think the work that Deborah does across the world is absolutely fantastic. It's the only organisation doing this uh, work to confront uh, and defeat eventually EB. Uh, but, you know, obviously as First Minister of Scotland, I'm awful proud of Scotland in a whole range of ways. But I don't think anything makes me prouder than to hear that, uh, that Scotland comes out top in terms of uh, fundraising and support uh, for such a, a vital and valuable organisation such as Deborah. Now your daughter, Alex, who died last year when she was just 19, she had EB. Give me some idea of what that meant to her during the day. She would wake, um, her mother always had to wake her because of the, uh, of the condition. She would lose all the body's vital nutrients that make you healthy. So she would wake up tired. And one of the things that, that one of the other side effects of the condition is that the hands all become fused, the skin's fingers become all fused together. So every night, Virginia used to put her hands religiously. Every night of her life, she had her hands put into splits to try and slow down the process of her fingers joining together. So she'd wake up in the morning, um, her mother would take her splints off and then start the, the, the banding for the day. Give Alex her um, the morning medications through a gastrostomy tube, disconnect all the feeds and get her ready for the day. Change the bandages on her feet uh, because her feet used to sweat. Uh, put new clean socks on and that would take about two hours. Thank you. 